The roof is open today at the Krokyo Dome here in Tokyo, Japan. The only city to survive World War VII. Tokyo saved the Earth with their giant robots and monsters. Now they'll thrill the universe with their regular-sized robots. Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The Diami Krakens take on the Tokyo Terminators. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Welcome to MFL Sunday School, where the good playbook teaches it's an eye for no reason, a tooth for an eight ball, and a limb for just looking at me the wrong way. MFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow, my partner's Bricks and Bricks Jr. Hey, man, these guys flat out want to kill each other today. Yeah, these are the kind of games families come out to see. It's good for the sport. You know what I like about this home team is 90% of them were born criminally insane. You can't teach that. And it's first and ten. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole up here. Talking to you. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Third down and ten. Boom! Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he put all of his foot into that one. Nice catch, and he turns. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Second down in a lot. There's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a patient prison break. Third and four. And the quarterback calls a sonic blast dirty trick and throws caught for the first down. First and ten. A nice run there for eight yards. Second down and two. I ate a piece of licorice once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was the frayed cords of the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is... Ah, I forgot my point. And it's first and ten.
First down and seven. The quarterback goes down. Zoom on his face. I want to see. Second down and more than the QB would like. Great chance for a big game. But still not enough for a first. Even I'm frustrated, and I'm a team agnostic. Third down and three. for the touchdown. Is that right, Quinn? That penalty makes no sense. Hey, something ain't kosher here, and I'm not talking about the corned beef with extra mayo. Third down, and, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. QB is saying his prayers. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. And it's good. You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, Stopping it right there. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Second down and ten. Third down and never going to happen. Hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant me. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he's got a chance for if there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's gonna have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. You can't keep a good mutant down. Great run for a nine-yard gain. And that'll bring up second and one. game is starting to soften up the defense first down and we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end and it's first and ten
Second down and long. And he rumbles for nine on that play. Third down and, well, good luck. And he picks up maybe four on that play. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a palm cream. The cross pitching, unbelievable. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, Grim, but it keeps coming back to him. And it's first and ten. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Nice pickup for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. Third down and long. The quarterback is getting mauled out there. And it looks like the offense is desperate for a first down. The nastiest dirty trick in the NFL is Trenton Massacre and the Olympics. <laughs> to the races. He's at the 40. The 30. They run it on fourth down and pick it up. That's four new downs and some big, big baboon balls. Graham, did you just say big, big baboon balls? Yes, I did. Nice. And it's first and ten. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Missed a beat for Brains. Ran with a ball and didn't fall down. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And he breaks away.
And it's first and ten. Don't worry. And this guy just blew up. Oh, and he fumbled the ball on that hit. When you hurdle and get hit, chances for a fumble increase. Oh, what a run there. Touchdown. No one was going to stop him. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just kidneys. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. First and ten. A lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Briggs. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the ground crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. And it's first and ten. Slipped away like a greased pig. And then Cats will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. I'll say this. They're putting together a hell of a drive. Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And it's first and ten. That's a six-yard gain. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. And that'll be second down and four. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Four. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. First down and long, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown!
Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. They stumped the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Graham? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. Gets the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. Third quarter about to begin here, and these guys are locked in a nearly dead heat. I was locked in a dead heat under the covers last night when Brick started farting like a 4th of July fireworks finale. <laughs> the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. done for a first down. Riff out of his misery. Uh, how about now, for instance? Here's a hint. Dirty tricks attack the ref. And this is a first and long. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. down and forever. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Grim. It's the 
Crowd goes wild. Touchdown. Touchdown. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a... Oh, Mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. Oh, with a punishing hit, the quarterback goes down. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Third down and forever. <laughs> and he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. Inflated the quarterback's balls right there. Second down in a very lot. And that's some good old fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. Third down and ten. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, with the punishing hit. And that'll bring up third and one. Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big portage John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a man. And with a burst of speed, 
he finds an opening and the first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Someone tell the defense their job is to stop the offense. And it's first and ten. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. First and eight to go. The teams have kept each other at bay for now, but there's still plenty of time to bribe refs and kill the other team's star players, so it's anyone's game, really, Bricks. Second down and a lot. And they went to the air and came up big. And that'll bring up third and one. I don't understand why they're going for it, Grim. This seems like a situation where they should always, always, always... Watch out. The ball carriers brought a chainsaw to the field. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. He's not just burning down the house, he's taking it to the house. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Second down and two. First and ten. Oh, ho, ho. that gets me every time. Like a jack in a box, Bricks. You never know when one of those hot potatoes is going to blow. You just crap your pants, Junior. And it's first and ten. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely. Second down and six. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. 
Third down and six. Defense gives up five yards on that pass play. They don't need much here. Looks like they're going for it. They run it up the gut for a first down. First and ten. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. That's a little on the nose, don't you think? Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Oh, that is such bullshit. I got money on this game. These guys need to talk to ref about those calls. If I talk, I mean, stop them into the ground. <laughs> They're back up here on first, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> first down in a mile. That's a gain of seven yards on the catch. Nicely done. Second down and ain't gonna happen. He's supercharged and can electrocute any of... Oh, he fumbled that one. Everyone loves being on the highlight reel, leaping over a defender, but sometimes you get hit hard and have the ball knocked loose. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. He might catch him. Move, you fat little mutant. He scores! Why is it that no one can score in this league without showboating? Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Second down and ten. Oh, nice hit. Third and two. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. Two minutes left in the game. Thank God, I gotta take a wicked dump. Feel like I'm sitting on a wax candle. Not on my shoulder, you know. And it's first and ten. First down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. 
The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Prince's ex-girlfriend. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Missed the beat for Brains Ram with a ball and didn't fall down. They're going for two points. And he gets into the end zone for the conversion. If you pay close attention, kids, you'll see his steps are making a perfect pentagram. Some of your own demons at home. He'll be going on site here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. That kicker just ended up in the meat wagon. They'll need to find another player on their bench who can kick field goals. Good luck with that. First and ten. He could be. He might be. He is gone. He is not coming back. Oh, with the punishing hit. Second down and more than the QB would like. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And now they're going to dump his ass. The defense calls their last time out. I don't know if they can pull off a win, Glenn. Why is that, Bricks? Eh, just a gut feeling. It also might be that porterhouse I ate for breakfast. How are you still alive? Drugs. something going here and it's first and ten he might have managed to dig out a yard on that one not my yard got too much buried in you know the usual money bodies coffee cans filled with well left uh, you know mostly coffee tastes better like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi, fermented anything really tastes good. The Terminators terminate the opposition and are victorious. It was a decisive win. The home crowd is cheering and throwing up at the same time. Too much excitement and booze will do that to you. And the players are celebrating as they search for missing appendages. They left it all on the field today, or most of it anyway. Oh, you're not kidding. The blood and gut sucking Sam Barney is coming out now. Hey, if anyone needs a liver transplant, there's a nice looking one down on the 40 yard line. And let's hear what the MVP has to say. Oh, I can't wait to hear what the most valuable prickhead has to say. Blah, blah, blah. You suck. You take my fantasy game last week, you douchebag. <laughs> Blitzro with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Heart Corporation. They get it right every up.